All right, what could possibly go wrong? Here we go. Oh, oh, what in the? Oh. <laughs> this is the slide that you make for like the middle stepchild that you really don't like. I mean, god dang. Where are they supposed to slide to? They just slide straight into the tree. That is just mean, man. Like, like, dang. If you don't like your kid, just like don't talk to them as much or something. You ain't got to build them a slide and be like, oh, here you go, Timmy. Why don't you give it a try? That's evil, man. I mean, somebody needs to, we need to call child services on this family and, you know, get that kid up on out of there. Somebody adopt this child. I mean, man, that slide don't even look that fun, even if it wasn't pointed right at the tree. I mean, that thing's like metal. You're like gonna burn your leg and stuff, and mm -mm, not today. The same person probably has like the monkey bars and the swing sets pointed right at the tree as well. Gosh dang. Racism. No, I'm just kidding. It's not racism. But we need to, but we need to. Why are we still here? But we need to. That out of here. Yes, today we're taking a look at what could possibly go wrong. Everything in my life, everything in my life is going wrong. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just kidding. Go ahead, comment down below your favorite, um, Go ahead, comment down below. What was your favorite thing to do on the playground or at the park? Was it the slide, the swing set, or the monkey bars? Let me know. Please make sure to slap the like button on this video and subscribe to the channel. We got new Get That Out of Here merch, the new shirts. Make sure to click that link in the description below. Get there and get some. All right, what could possibly go wrong? We got the men's bathroom, the women's bath. Wait, hold on. Wait, okay, on the top it says men's, but on the bottom it says women, and the top on the right says women, and on the bottom it says men. Which bathroom? is which bro like geez this is like a you had one job i mean man I, I wouldn't have any idea where to go i just had to stand out there and just wait and be like all right let me just wait and see who comes out of which bathroom and then i'll go in that one at that point you might just have to take a guess man i mean just just go ahead you know you know try your luck and and hope that it's the right one in all seriousness i'd probably go in the bathroom that where it says men on the door i trust that one more than like what it says above it you know that's like the worst dilemma to have like you just had a big gulp from 7-eleven and then you know you really got to use the bathroom and you're just like dick what which one? At that point, just pick one, man, and you know, ask questions later. Um, excuse me, uh, uh, is this like supposed to be some sort of wheelchair ramp? What the heck? This is some like extreme wheelchairing. How are they supposed to get down? Is this establishment like anti-handicap or something like that? Man, come on, man. It's supposed to be handicap accessible. This is ridiculous. Now, I could be wrong. I don't know how it works, but from the looks of it, it just don't look too safe. That slide that ran right into the tree looks safer than this man there's gonna be in the wheelchair like rolling down fast and furious style Ew, bro oh bro did you like pee or poop your pants or both oh that's just disgusting oh wait no that's like the design of the shorts i think Ew, what kind of i mean why would you buy those i don't care if it is the design of the shorts it just it looks like you done wet yourself Ew. and you at the store about to get some food bro i mean it, man don't nobody want to stand behind you that's somebody who like farted too hard he just like oh, oh oops uh yeah yeah ignore that spot on the back of my shorts it's um it's part of the design yes yeah i ain't standing behind this bro you was in a crappy situation <laughs> yeah you see what i did there here we go it's a wait hole make oh oh shoemaker i didn't even see the s there come on now they should have known better than that i mean y'all need to sue whoever designed that how in the heck did you not realize that it looks like it says Homemaker. I mean, uh, come on now. Is this where like pimps live or something like that? Like, or is this like the pimp headquarters? They just start making hoes? Like, I, I don't know. They they turn you, they make a hoe out of you. I, I don't know. It's Shoemaker though, the Shoemaker. Y'all just really need to make that S a little bit more uh, visible. One time somebody asked me, they're like, hey, hey, watch your language. Do you kiss your pimp with that mouth? And I was like, As, yes, I do. Yes, I No, I don't. Oh, wow. Yeah, seriously. What could possibly go wrong? Why would you paint a mural like that. If I was driving around there, I'd probably smash into the wall. I'd be like, perfect. Here's how I get out of this parking lot. There's a tunnel right there. Let's go. Yeah, no, don't do it, man. Like, the geez. I mean, that mural, it looks nice. It looks really nice, but yeah, you're gonna have a lot of accidents over there. I don't know. Instead of putting a mural there, like, like put like a basketball hoop or something so that people know, you know, that that's not real. I'm sorry. I didn't know this was Wally Coyote and the Roadrunner. Like, like, what is going on up in here? This is like the Roadrunner and real life. Life, man. Ew! 
Oh, oh, okay, comment down below. Would you rather go down this slide or go down this slide? Like, like, let me know. I'm not trying to slide out of a horse's butt. What the heck? Ew. Who thought of this? Like, if anything, maybe have, like, the slide come over the horse's butt, not out through the horse's butt. That's disgusting. Can kids even fit in that? Like, the butt don't even look that big. Like, you need to cut... I'm sorry, y'all. Y'all need to cut out, like, a bigger butthole or something, you know, for kids to actually slide out of there. Where's even the entrance? Like, like, is it through, like, the mouth of the horse or the chest? Ew. Oh, man, yeah, this is just some bad uh, architectural work. I mean, man, y'all need to get it together. Dang, this is probably that same horse that was in Frozen 2, you know, that took, that took Elsa across the ocean. And here it says, no. What, no to what? Like, what, what did I do? Dang. I think they're just assuming that people speed around here and they're just like, no, no speeding. Or just no to everything. They're just like, if you see the sign, next person who asks you a question, just say no. Say no to drugs. Say no to illegal activity. Just say no. What happens when you... Oh, when, when you die? God dang! Come and find out! Sundays at 10 a.m.? <laughs> no! Uh, that sounds like they're about to murder somebody, like, if you come in there. No, no, man, no, I, I think I'm good. In all seriousness, I'm pretty sure it's for a church. It's for a church, and they're just like, hey, you know, we gonna teach you about the religion. Y'all just might want to rephrase that a little bit. That, that's all I'm saying. I mean, you know, maybe not put that question so big on the little billboard thing. And that gate is looking suspect. I mean, man, it's all spiky and everything. Mm -mm. They probably gonna stab you with that gate. Nope, not today. Oh, wow. Like, what? what is the point of this sink being right here? Where's where's the bowl? Where's the bowl at? How am I supposed to wash my hands? And you got the sink pointed directly at an electrical outlet. I'm just gonna be like, oh, perfect. Let me wash my hands and then and then that's it, it's over. But if you end up getting shocked and dying, uh, hopefully you went to this church service to find out what happens. Yeah, seriously, y'all might wanna like, I don't know, relocate that thing, cause um, yeah, it ain't safe. And here we have just a door that opens up to like the side of the building. Oh man, like 100 feet high, dang. Right there, smack on the 45th floor. Wh why, what is the point of a door there? That's scary, man. Like what if the fire alarm goes off and they're just like, oh man, we gotta get out of here. Oh, Oh, there's a door, let's go. Whoa, and then they're gone. I hope they have like some warning signs like up in there, like so something, put something, you know, outside the door that says like, do not enter oh, for any uh, circumstance or something, I don't know. Okay, this is just getting ridiculous. I mean, man, can y'all please help out people who happen to be handicapped? Dang, you need a ramp, not a dang slope. What the, what? It says being handicapped in Cabo San Lucas is apparently an extreme sport. Yes. Yeah, Seriously, man, you need like somebody to really just like hold you and like ease you down. Like it's one thing getting down, you're gonna hurt yourself, but like how do you even get up, man? Uh, gosh. Okay, now this is for if you really hate kids. I mean, <laughs> what, having the slide go to the tree was one thing, but now to have the slide go down a three-story building, what? You just slide all the way off. Hopefully there's like a trampoline at the bottom or like a ball pit, I mean anything, dang. I mean, I guess that'd be a fun way to get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> like you just sliding off and then just woo. But yeah, you know me guys, I, I ain't about to do it. No, not today. Now if you paid me like a few million dollars, then I might do it, but no, 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 no. Nobody do it, don't do it, it's not worth it, don't do it. For some reason, they just put like a power line smack in the middle of the road for cars to crash into. It's a trap, bro, it's a trap. Or some YouTuber's gonna come out and be like, ah, it's a prank, bro, we got your car good, yeah. Uh, no, I mean, I know people need service for their phones, but, but dang, did you really have to put it like right in the middle of the road? Maybe a storm happened and it like, you know, it like pulled the power line, like, I don't know, the, and then it moved it to the center of the road. I, I don't know. Whatever the case, just I hope people are driving safely and, you know, just got to pay attention to the road and, you know, don't text and drive. Oh, goody, another door, like, randomly to a classroom, like, 10 feet up. What the heck? This is the door you have to come through if you're, like, late to class. That way, hopefully, the professor doesn't notice. You just, like, open the door and then you just, you know, drop on down right into your seat. All these dangerous doors, man, like, what are the architects thinking? Like, what's the point of it? Jesus, Ron, why did you put a door there it's not a door it's art oh here we go this looks like a nice comfortable seat uh psych you got a cactus right there i need a seat with some lumbar support i ain't trying to get stabbed in the back i got fake friends for that no i'm just kidding i'm just kidding all them cactuses or is it cat cacti or cactuses cactuses 
cacti, it's cacti. All right, man, you know what? I'm done with all this. Like the wheelchair accessible ramps aren't very accessible, dang. This is better than the other ones because like it at least goes halfway up. You're giving somebody in a wheelchair false hope. They're like, oh, okay, perfect. We got the ramp and then they come to the stairs and they're like, oh, oh wait a minute. Uh, okay, I'm gonna figure this out. Here we go. That's just mean, man. Whoever built this, they need to be smacked across the face. Man, people building wheelchair ramps that go halfway up and then they have to take steps the rest of the way. Y'all ready? No, we need to get that out of here. Woo! That's gonna do it for what could possibly go wrong. Thank you guys for watching the video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Get the new Get That Out of Here merch link in the description below. Check it out. Beg your parents, whatever you gotta do, get there and get some. And hey, you guys be safe. Make sure if you go down a slide, make sure there's no tree in front of it. You're gonna be all right. And I'm see you guys in the next one. Peace.